Hi, this is Cody Bickley, manager of National Coaches Education for USA Wrestling. We're here in Pattaya, Thailand, uh, getting ready to start the first day of uh, freestyle. It's been an exciting trip so far. Uh, the Coaches Apprentice Program is really a selection of uh, 10 coaches the last couple years uh, and an opportunity to get them behind the scenes access, if you will, to our coaching staff, the tournament itself, and then just educational experiences throughout the, the time that we're here as well, taking a little bit of culture. And it's been a very positive experience. Uh, coaches have gone back, they're excited. You know, they take some of the stuff back, not only from the wrestling competition, but from the, uh, you know, just the, the mingling with coaches from the United States that come along, uh, and the national team coaches as well. Uh, guys like Bill Zadig, Zeke Jones, Brandon Slay, uh, Steve Frazier, all of our national staff, Terry Steiner, that have all been a part of this the last few years. Uh, obviously here in Thailand, we're with the development side, so we've got Ike Anderson and uh, Bill Zadig, who are heading up these teams. But uh, really it's just, you know, it's, it's a great learning experience. It's an opportunity for, for coaches to really understand international uh, wrestling a little bit more at the highest level. Uh, what I mean by that is when it comes down to the weigh-in procedures, the draw procedures, uh, you know, how did that, when I say draw, the, what uh, U.S. referred to as bracketing system, how that is done, uh, you know, where there's no seating. And so it's just an opportunity to, to understand the process a little bit more and really just see it with your own eyes. Um, so it's, in addition to that, um, like I was uh, alluding to a little bit earlier on, it's, uh, it's more than just the wrestling. We have a lot of uh, teachers that are on this trip. Uh, we, we have taken in, uh, you know, last year we were in Turkey, we took in some culture, some sporting events with the Turkish oil wrestling. Uh, obviously being here in Thailand, we had a few coaches, we experienced uh, Muay Thai training just a little bit, their venue. Uh, so just little things like that to give them a little bit of exposure, not only to the wrestling at the highest, one of the highest levels, but also a little bit how things go on in different parts of the country. And then they take that not only back into their, to their gyms, to their wrestling rooms, but also into their classrooms. Cody, how does this junior level compare to the senior level competition? You know, what I found the last, this is our first time that we've done it, at, uh, that I've done it at the junior level. The last two experiences have been at the senior level. Uh, the last two senior world championships, Moscow, Russia, and then Istanbul, Turkey. What I found with the junior level, it's a little bit more uh, lax with uh, control of the venue a little bit more. Uh, now, we, the, the coaches have access, we get them credentials, but uh, found it's a little bit looser as far as uh, comparing the two environments. Uh, the junior level, I guess, would say is a little bit more lenient as to uh, uh, floor control. Um, we've had coaches that are, that are literally right up beside the mats. And, uh, you know, that that's obviously hasn't been the case in the past necessarily. Uh, we get close, but uh, it's an opportunity for really, once again, the coaches that we bring along, you know, what's, how's Bill Zadig speaking to the athletes? How's Zeke Jones speaking to the athletes? Brandon Slay, those coaches, Steve Frazier, when that, you know, the break in between periods, period reset. Uh, so, once again, there's, there's some definite uh, perks to being a part of the program. Talk about your, your position as developmental uh, developing the, the coaches? You know, really, it's, uh, it's, it's about opportunity. And uh, coaches, I always use the, uh, you know, the analogy that uh, when we, uh, or the phrase, if you will, that when you think you've uh, learned it all, it's time to get out of it. And I think that what I found, I don't think, what I know, what I found is that uh, the coaches that choose that we select, I mean, there's an application process, and then, like I say, we whittle it down to 10 coaches. But the, really the, ten, the, the coaches that have come on this uh, and taken part in this opportunity the last few years, they are true, true educators. And what I mean by that is they, they want to learn, they want to be around the environment, and they want to make themselves better. So when really when you have coaches like that, it's really just providing them the setting to, to pick up on things in addition that they want to pick up to. We have, we have coaches that will spend more time in the warm-up area than maybe the actual competition venue because they're, they're doing things back in the warm-up area that maybe you don't see back home during the warm-ups. So uh, a lot of different aspects, coaches you know, run with it, I guess, if, if you will, is the best term. But uh, really it's just putting them in a setting and uh, surrounding them with some people to where they can pick and choose what they want to take back home. Talk a little bit about the guys on the team this year and the freestyle team. You know, a lot of excitement around the junior freestyle team this year, that's for sure. 
you know, Bill Zadek along with uh, Bruce Burnett and Mike Haggerty, they've had a great training camp. I was, I was a part of training camp. And, uh, you know, things are going well. A lot of talent. Uh, I think what they're excited about is, is uh, you know, some of the, uh, I believe, you know, you're probably looking at four of the team members that are, that are uh, part of this junior team for 2012 are actually full-time residents uh, at the Olympic Training Center or, or there the majority of the time. And so they've, they've really built a good, uh, you know, cohesiveness and uh, training camp went well when the other, when the other kids came in. But uh, a lot of expectations for this freestyle team going into this afternoon. Awesome. Thanks a lot, Coach. All right. Thanks, bro.